The following program is a paid advertisement for Bridgeland Auto Brokers and does not represent the views or opinion of the state. Welcome to the 1960s show number two. We had a lot of fun in show number one, didn't we? Yeah. Brought out that heavy metal. We had some good rides. Cool sports you cars. the better cars on this one. I saved the best for the last. So show oh no, that's a tall order. To beat last We had show? some pretty awesome cars. Okay. We're going to get we're gonna far get, out. Groovy. Right. You want to stay tuned because you're going to see some cool inventory. Not only are we going to bring out our normal inventory, we're going to bring a lot of cool stuff, right? Out of sight. Definitely out of sight. 1960s. Let's think about the 1960s now. Tell me one thing that just jumps out of you about the 60s. Don't steal my. Woodstock. Woodstock. Name the band that. Name your favorite. Name a favorite band of the 1960s. You have to think. Come on. Huh? Continue. Iron Butterfly. She said. Iron Butterfly. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What about you? I'm a Jimi Hendrix guy. Big time. Rio Street Wagon. Wrong. Leonard oh, Skinner. No. Uh, look. Is that? No. I think, I think it's 70s. I'm feeling 70s. Think again, mustache boy. Um, so, Janis Joplin, that's what he said. Janis Joplin, it was. So, back in the God, 60s, if you think about that stuff. Credence, CCNR. He looks, he reminds me of the Credence, like a still water type of dude, right? Yeah. You remind me of like an old school biker from the movie Mask. And you remind me of, of the girl from the uh, Austin Powers, for some reason. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know uh, why. Uh, uh. But either way, we're gonna have a whole lot of fun. We're gonna break out the heavy metal. We're gonna show you some really cool inventory. Stay tuned. Five, four, three, two, two one. and one. Here we go, Joe. Here's a 2019 Toyota CHR XLE. Mm -hmm. Now, limited. When we're doing commercials, we always pay attention to the colors. We like to get put a variety of colors out there. So I initially selected this because I like the color. I like the blue, obviously that's it's hard to not like, right? Laser blue. I like that. But as I started doing my homework on the car, I, I didn't even realize that we had this. I wasn't the one that bought this. We had our buyer bought this. Uh, so when I did my homework on the car, it's one of those cars, I start looking at depreciation. That's one of the things I pay attention to. Okay, I'm gonna sell it to the customer for 21.8. I always go into things looking at it as though the customer's gonna drive 12,000 miles a year. This is my math. They're gonna drive 12,000 miles a year. So if I sold it to them for 21.8, they kept it for two years. If the customer has a decent interest rate, puts down the sales tax in the DMV, the goal is to get them two or three years out, depending on the model. Trade them out of it. And trade them back out of it, right. not have to tell them that they own more than the vehicle's worth. Right. So this is gonna be one of those cars that'll do that for you. Obviously, we know that Toyota holds its value. We got that going for it. Yep. It's got the look. So when this comes back into a dealership with 40, 50, 60,000 miles, it's going to be a perfect piece of merchandise. The dealer's going to be very happy, including ourselves, to put it very back. happy to put that back on our lot yep. and resell it, even with 60,000 miles or 70,000 miles, because it's a Toyota, right? 70,000 miles on a Toyota is like 30,000 miles on a Chevy right. in, our, in my book. So They wear it differently. They do. It's a perfect way to say it. They wear differently. They yep. do. So this car is going to start out with 5,000 miles. So you're starting with super low miles for a 19. This car should have 24,000 miles on it. So when you're starting out with five, and you're the person that puts, let's say you even put, let's say you put 20,000 miles a year on a car. You're a high mileage driver. Well, two years from now, the car is going to have average mileage. So if you're that driver, you're going to want to pay attention to starting with low mileage. You know, that's that's the playing chess game with a car like this. Science. Start with the low that's the science. You start with 5,000 miles, you had 12,000 miles a year, right in the car, you're a high mileage driver, but because you bought it with low mileage, it evens back out for you trade. This is gonna do that for slow you. Slow depreciation type of vehicle. Very slow depreciation yep. with the Toyota. Yep. It's got the all wheel drive, so you're gonna get around the snow like a trooper. Okay, it's got the heated seats, so your family's gonna stay warm the whole time you drive around this. So. This is a hatchback feature with a 70-30 flip down seat that folds perfectly fat, flat for more stable capacity. Folds perfectly fat, at 21,888 or 75 months. At 325 a month. 325 a month. Which is your taxes in DMV done. Correct. So if you don't have your tax in DMV, that's fine. You're gonna have a little bit of a higher payment. Maybe you have a trade that you have some negative equity in. We can roll that in if we had to. Or probably at this point, if you have negative equity, you're probably gonna get the majority of that back on trade. The way the market is trade right now. Trade values are high, guys. High, high, high. The car market is high. Hopefully we never see it like this again. What gets most affected is the cheaper inventory because you have you have more buyers for that. You have more dealers per capita that sell that five, 10, $15,000 car right. than sell the 20, 30, $40,000 cars. 
right? So you have more fish in the pool. Those are the cars that bring, that have been affected the most. Mm -hmm. So your trade, respectively, is worth a lot more than it would be a year ago. And don't get me wrong, these cars are a little more than they would be too, but it hasn't been affected as much as your trade if you're driving a five or a six or a $10,000 car. So now couldn't be, the, couldn't be the most opportune time if you have a trade. You wanna come in and pull on this guy's pony, ponytails. Everybody can do this. You do. So come on in. If you wanna yank on a couple ponytails, maybe you wanna take a test drive, cleancarschief.com. We're open seven days a week. We have sales people that are more than happy to help you out. Take advantage. Our, Go ahead. I would like to talk about the spectrum of buyers out there with our business team. Yep. I don't care if someone has had a recent divorce, they had some tough financial times coming through the COVID time, they're getting back on their feet. Their brand new buyers never had a car, doesn't matter. Any of those situations we are happy and work well with. Right, so whether they want that, maybe somebody, maybe you want a home delivery, we can also offer Absolutely. that. So we have the home deliveries, we have, we have it going on. So, and I want to get in, you know, when I start talking about that online, right? I want to I can go on for minutes and minutes. I'll save it for another car. But either way, 21888 is going to put this in your driveway at 325 a month. It doesn't get any better than this for 325. Not with 5,000 miles on. So visit cleancarscheap.com. If it's this, maybe it's something else. 400 vehicles in stock you're never going to find. If you can't find a car on our lot, you're not looking. You're not going to find it. You're not buying a car. Or give us a call at 315 633 7060. 7060. Visit us today. Here we go, here's a beautiful car, right? Absolutely. You guys would look good in this together. Take a, I think little, so. take a little sunset ride, right? Riding into the sunset. I'm in. You're in? I'm in. You're done with that, right? I'm definitely A little done. sunset ride? So take this, this car's color is... Uh, crush. Crush. So this 2019 Camaro, when we did our homework on this, what was the mileage on this? Nobody, there's, you're gonna find any of these. I think it's 500 miles, if I'm not mistaken. I, we did the search. 500 miles out, you will not find enough. You'll find Camaros. You'll find them at 27.9, just like this car. You're not gonna find this color. So this crush color, absolutely stunning. So that's got that going for it. Horsepower, where are we at with that? 335 horsepower. 335 horsepower out of this car. This is a V6 car, keep in mind. So half of you on the other side, I don't wanna be, well, why don't you get behind the wheel of that V6 and then you can tell me you don't want one. You I had to put in. my hair up for this one when I drove it over here. Listen, let's put it like this. Back in the 1960s, I would guess that most cars in the 1960s, even your fast cars in the 60s, this car would probably beat it, wouldn't it? As a today's V6? Yeah. It probably would. Three, I don't think cars in the 1960s, even the V8 muscle cars, 335 right. is probably a lot of horsepower back then. So this car is gonna rip just like that. Now, here's the cool part about this car. We did our shoot for candy cars for our new store, okay? We did our shoot there. We sent a bunch of cars, trucks out, we had the trucks lowered, put 24 inch wheels on them. This car I chose and I put the ZL1 wheels. Now, if you know Camaro, you know ZL1's top of the food chain. That's the Ferrari of Camaros. Probably somewhere in the $80,000, $90,000 neighborhood for a new one. And they have these wheels, right? Distinctive wheels. Definitely sets the car apart. If you saw this car before I put these wheels on it and then after you'll never take it with the original wheels. Gorgeous. So it's got ZL1 wheels on it without the price tag. So when I put the wheels on the car initially, we, I like to tell the backstory, I'm sorry. When I put the wheels on the car initially, I knew I was doing it for a commercial. I knew that it can only sell the car for so much, right? I'm gonna sell the car at market price, whether it's got eight wheels, black wheels, chrome wheels, whatever it is, it doesn't make a difference. The car's worth what it's worth. So I put the wheels on it, it destroyed my profit margin on the car, which is fine. So now you're gonna be able to jump into this car for probably a couple dollars less than I own it for and get it with these wheels. So take advantage <laughs> of the opportunity to get this because you won't find it again. I wouldn't be able to put this car on my lot. I wouldn't do this to the car and put it on the lot because I wouldn't be able to make a dime. I did it for a TV commercial. So if you want to look the part this summer, you want to have this thing sitting in your driveway, a car that you won't mind spending half your afternoon on a Sunday washing, it's the car. It's gonna feel, this car feels good. It sits right in the inside, cockpit style seating, beautiful wheels, beautiful color, 35,000 miles on it. This is definitely the, the one to keep. You buy this, you put it away every year. If you don't want to, keep driving to the winner, your choice. But if you want a nice, perfect car, out of Georgia. Out of Georgia. Super clean. This car is a Georgia peach. You're not going to find a cleaner car. Absolutely stunning. The wheels, everything about this car. My bell bottoms are falling off my waist. But this, is, this car's got it all. That's a, that's a nice car. 
So if you're looking for a nice car, you want a nice sports car, maybe you want a luxury car, a truck, SUV, whatever it may be, we got everything. With over 400 vehicles in stock, Bridgeland is the place to go. Nobody in Central New York has the inventory that we have, period, with pre-owned cars. We have the biggest inventory in the city right now. If you want to buy something right, come get it. I bought our cars two, three months ago when the market was lower, and I'm selling them now for less than they're doing at auction. So if you're in the market, get online right now. Get out of bed, get on that computer, check out some of our inventory, and then pick up the phone or email. We have people seven days a week at the phones ready to help you, ready to get you out of that negative equity situation that you have, willing to work on that problem credit. Absolutely. Now these guys spend a lot of time on our showroom floor. What would you say is probably one of the differences? You've worked in other stores, mm -hmm. right? You guys have done this somewhere else. What do you think the difference is with us, with the credit? Let's talk specifically credit. And, and I'm not looking for you to TV commercial. Sure. Straight raw there's footage. A, there's a lot of people that have gone other places. Yep. Then they come here. Somehow, some way, we get them into it. Yes. It's, you know, we, we find a way. Don't be judge your credit. 100%, I will say that. There's a lot of people that will come into our store and say, listen, I've been everywhere. I've gotten turned down. We get it done. We're the place that car salespeople that work at other dealerships and can't get somebody approved, they send them to us. This is, they call us. We, we sell those cars for, so if you're the, the manager at another store, you probably won't be happy to hear that. So, but we're the place a lot of people do call them. They can't get somebody approved at their store, they Absolutely. call us, hey, I got a customer, and we get it done, don't we? We get it done and they probably end up buying a nicer car than they were looking at at the original store anyways. So visit us today, cleancarscheap.com. We have the inventory, we have the people, we got it all going on right now. Now is the time to buy. Visit us today. We go absolutely beautiful truck this is a 2020 we like to buy that late model truck so you're gonna find when you shop Bridgeland you're gonna find a lot of 2019s 2020s that's what we specialize in the vehicles that not quite new you don't have to take the blunt of depreciation that the owner would if you were to drive it brand new off of a lot but close enough a few miles on it let somebody else take that big hit you get behind the wheel of it drive it for a couple years bring it back in and get what you owe and then some in most cases so that's what this truck's gonna do for you this 2020 GMC Sierra, there's not many of these around right now. Rare birds. Rare bird. 2020 GMC Sierra 1500. Open the back door up, show them how big the back seat is. So, huge crew cab, brand new. This thing is absolutely dead new. Floors, every, there's, not, there's not a crumb on those floors. I mean, the seats, everything, it's, it's just that nice of a truck. So now, let me get past this. Let me get the price tag. So we're selling this at $46,895. $639. It's $639 a month. Now, but let me get into the comparatively. So now we take this truck at $46,895, right? In our market, within 200 miles, the average 2020 Sierra, this is VIN decoded, so we put the VIN number in, it shows me what everybody's selling them for in our, in our market. I can choose whether I want to go out 200, 500, unlimited miles, whatever I want to do. So to take a snapshot of our market, I wanted to see where do I stand compared to the rest of the dealers? Where does this truck price compared to the other 2020 Sierras within the 200 miles. Well, they sell, in our, you believe this, they sell for 46,395, right, locally. I got this truck at 46,895, but, let me give you the story on this. We use this for the commercials at the other store. So these, this was used for our Candy Cars commercial. I took the truck, I chose several vehicles that I could put 24 inch wheels. I wanted them to really pop, right? Usually I'd put 22s on this truck. I wanted the 24s. Now they're coming at a little bit of an expense, but step back, show them this. But the look is insane. It's insane. So you got a two inch lowered. This truck's lowered two inches and it's got 24 inch wheels. Now these wheels are $4,000. You're gonna be, guy off the streets walks in, wants to buy these wheels, four grand you're gonna spend for that and, and then some with the level to, to lower it there. Correct. So you got over, I'm $500 more than the competition, but you get $4,000 worth of wheels. So you're paying $500 for $4,000 worth of wheels. If 
If you're in the market for a 2020 GMC and you go anywhere else, you watch this commercial and you went anywhere else and bought a different one, you're absolutely nuts. You can jump into this truck at 2020, 14,000 miles. You get the balance of the factory warranty. You want to know that cool little, I think it's cool. It's an X31. That's a Canadian package. You'll find the Z71 here in the States. Well, in Canada, they call them the X31. I don't know. I, I like something that nobody else has. I think that's cool. Everyone's going to ask, what is that? What is an X31, right? You got, you got a trim level that nobody else has. So again, with the Canadian units, warranty is intact. They don't use the, the rock salt like we use here in New York, so the undercarriage of these trucks is a lot cleaner. But 14,000 miles, balance of the warranty, it's got the look, it's got the 24 inch wheels. It's the right truck, right? It's got the bed liner, the whole bit. So, if you wanna hop into something and get back your money two or three years out, this is the way to do it. Why would you go anywhere else and spend 46,395 and you can spend 46,895 and get, come on, this truck doesn't turn you on nothing, it does, it's in town. So, visit this truck. At the store, maybe you want a Ram, maybe you want a Ford F-150. We have a lot of lifted Fords too. We're gonna to break out one of those in this commercial. We're gonna get a chance to see those. Those are priced a couple thousand dollars below auction. So, either way. You have, can I say bad donkey? For what? Bad, awesome. It's a bad, oh, it's a bad donkey. Bad donkey, get it? This truck's bad donkey. Hey. <laughs> Anyway, shop. Business today, cleancarscheap.com. What do we have? We have the ACV auction, right? We're doing that every month until September. Yep. So maybe folks over there don't understand that, right? We do a lot of radio advertising. We do a lot of television. If you're not familiar with it, ACV is probably one of the biggest auction sources in the country. It's a publicly- Taking it by storm. It's redefining how auctions are done. Right, so- Giving no, more power to the people. Yep, no longer are you walking into a brick and mortar auction on a Wednesday afternoon like we used to yep. and selling our trades to 10 or 15 people that may be standing there bidding on them. I've got hundreds. Now we have hundreds of people at a time looking at our trades, which means that you're gonna get more for yours. Now what we do with these ACV events is we hold them on the, I think it's the third Saturday of every month. Correct. Okay. We have the appraisers come out here. They work for ACV themselves. That These are the people that when you trade your car and day after they come to the dealership, they do their half an hour with your trade and they do what they call launching it, which means that it goes on the computer screen and we start to see dealers start waking up on it. Now, most of us have the alerts on our phone. Mm -hmm. So these dealers have alerts set up in their phone. A guy lives in Kentucky, right? He wants anything from a 2008 to a 2016 with under 70,000 miles on it. Bloop. Your trade comes in, you leave with your new car the next day, we go ahead, have it uh, do a condition report on it, put it on the TV screen and all of a sudden people start bidding on it. Yeah. Now, we could lose a thousand on your trade, or we could make a thousand, or we can make two, right? Everything's pretty much a gamble when it comes to the trades. You are gonna be able to come in on Saturday. You don't even have to commit to a car. You're gonna have your trade there, obviously. We're gonna take about a half an hour of your time. And we're gonna put it up on the big screen. You're gonna be able to see what the dealers are bidding on your car. It's very so, exciting, very exciting. Super exciting. So be we've part had, of the process. We've had a lot of people that have come in, and we've had circumstances ourselves where we maybe thought a car was worth 8,000 bucks, Come on in, customer wasn't happy, they wanted yep. more. Bring your car in, let's see what it does, and the yep. thing does $12,000. Yep. What do we do? We, do? we give the customer every dime of it. Every so dime. You're gonna get an opportunity on that ACV sale to get exactly what we get for your trade. Okay, that's not the typical circumstance when you walk in and buy a car, right. whether it's our store or anywhere else, but we're gonna make you part of it. Right. So you're gonna be able to see it. You can decide that right then and there whether or not you wanna look at a car on our lot or you wanna shake hands and leave. Your choice. So. Definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. If you missed it last month, you're going to want to jump on it this month. Here we go, next up, here's another rare piece, and we were definitely specialized in those rare cars, the ones you don't find everywhere. Nice. We traveled to Lando Lakes, Florida to bring this one back. I don't wanna say we traveled, but it got trucked from Florida. So this BMW is a Florida car. This is the i3 with range extension. Excuse me, range extender. So this 2015 BMW i3 with range extender, 
Obviously, being a Florida car, yeah, brand new. Spotless underneath, gonna be in that condition. Tell them about the inside, tell them what it's got. Well, first of all, it's a 15, but it only has 40,000 miles on it. Um, it'll get up to 85 miles on a charge. It goes up to 77 miles per hour. Um, it looks like a two-door, but it's Open that up. not just a two-door. Funky, funky interior. It actually this thing, has a full back seat to it. This car looks like it came out of the future, doesn't it? It really does. It's a 2015, but it looks like a 20, you mentioned earlier, 2030. 2030. This thing is absolutely, so here's the catch. So this car, this 2015 i3 is an electric car. Obviously, it takes gas as well, but here's the cool part. It gets, I want to see over 130 miles of the gallon highway and like 117 miles per gallon city. So if you're somebody that wants to drive around and go highway drive and go out of town, this is probably not the car for you. But if you're looking for something that's gonna cost you nothing for gas, and you just, you're just you somebody that drives back and forth to work, like to keep it local, it's a perfect car. As a matter of fact, our manager is gonna get in this tonight and drive it, he yeah. likes it. Yeah. It's cool. Here's the catch with this. Let me get let me show him the back seat first, because I like that. Okay, I'm six foot one, right? And I sit back here. Am I sitting in the back of a Tahoe? Absolutely not. But it, my knees aren't hitting the seats either. So it works. it's got the space. So this 2015, 40,000 miles, let's divide that up. So we take five years, we six years, divided by 40, or excuse me, 40 divided by six is what? Less than 7,000 miles a year. Less than 7,000 miles a year. So you could shut that for me if you would. The car's been baby pampered. We haven't cleaned it up yet. It just came in. Priced at $16,888 or a payment of? $299 a month for $2 66 months. For 60, that's the catch. It's not a 75 month loan. It's not an 84 month loan. It's a 66 month loan. Now, could we have stretched that out a little more? Absolutely. Probably. But we're gonna put you in line with a term that we feel is gonna be most beneficial to you. Listen, if it doesn't make sense to go to an 84 month loan on something, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna just advertise it because it sounds like a great payment. I'll put those terms out there when I feel that an average driver can drive it two or three years, turn around and get back out of it. This car, the sweet spot is a 66 month loan. It's gonna put it at a nice payment. Also, the payment sounded attractive too, so $2.99 a month. So, here's the other part to this car. The best part about this car, because I had to do my homework on this one. I didn't know nothing about these, right? I never seen one of these. I didn't even see one of these in person before. So I did my homework on them. You plug it into the wall. So you, you don't have to go, you don't have to have a charging station. Right. You don't have to go to Destiny USA to get your car charged. You plug it into the wall. A regular wall plug at your house will charge this car. That's the cool part. So, 16888 or a payment of? $299. $299 a month for 66 months is gonna make this car yours. So visit us today, cleancarscheap.com. Again, like we say over and over, it's getting tiring for me. Whether you have credit issues, you have negative equity, maybe you got a lot of positive equity, maybe you just want too much for your trade, this is the place that's gonna do that for you. So visit us today, cleancarscheap.com. You're gonna find 350, depending on the day, 350 to 400 vehicles in stock at one location. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. Is this there? Here's a 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. We just brought this in from Florida, Tampa specifically. So we talk about the colors, right? You gotta travel if you want the colors. You can get the grays, the blues, the browns. You can get all the basic colors here because a lot of your rental fleets, that's how they order them here. So typically what you're gonna find with your 2018, 19s and 20s on most dealership lots are previous rentals or fleet vehicles. Now rental companies, I know at least in the Northeast region, tend to go with the grays, the whites. You'll find that some blacks even. You'll get the darker kind of mute colors. When you go to the south or you go to, out into California and, and you start going out west, you gotta pay a little bit more. You gotta pay a little bit more to get them home, but then you're gonna get these colors. You're gonna get these unique colors that nobody else has. This is one of them right here. 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan. It's got the leather interior. We haven't cleaned this one up yet, so excuse me for the, it's not even really that dirty. 
Okay, so this is gonna have your leather trim seats. It's gonna have a third row. It's gonna have the running boards. It's gonna have the panoramic roof, and you, like you say, starts here, or is it on here? Ends here. So it's got the full sky view roof. And again, the selling point to this right now with the vehicle shortage that's going on, one of the vehicles, one of the segments that's most affected is your third row seat SUVs. Very, very hard to get right now. And when you find them, they do a premium because there's so few of these out there. So that's one of the ones that were most hit. This one right here, 2018, 37,000 miles, priced at 21,877. Where do you find a third row seat SUV with the leather, with the roof, all the options, doesn't have 60 or 70,000 miles to get there? Anywhere. Great time. 37,000 miles, 325 a month, it's gonna give you a third row leather interior, beautiful color, Florida vehicle, which means that it looks as good underneath as it looks on the outside. Right, those brains. Take the brains off, leave them at home. Come on in, bear with your naked brain. Come on, whatever, head. Come on in, no thinking necessary. This one's gonna be an easy choice. Once you get behind the wheel, and you see how big and comfortable these are, 21,877, I don't have to say anymore. This one's gonna end up in somebody's driveway real, real quick. So visit us today, cleancarscheap.com, or pick up that phone and dial. We'll see you at the store. If I was driving down the road, and would you consider me short? Now, these 2020 Ford F-150s, I can go buy these at an auction. I could buy 10 of them tomorrow if I wanted to. They're selling right now at auction for $42,800. That's the average auction money, 42,800. Listen, you're losing my stash, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the unlock button for me. Hit the unlock. Where are we? You good? There you go, got it. <laughs> I don't know if I was hitting the wrong button. You wanna talk about that? <laughs> Just wanted to like open it, you know? Yeah. Let's try that again. Effortless. Listen, I got these I got this I got these things hugging right now. Yeah. These things are they're hugging. Can't say, I'm gonna give you more detail. She's she, she hugging. She, uh, my voice is gonna go up about two octaves. So, what we have here. So, what we have here. What's wrong, Rob? Okay, so if this is. This, <laughs> welcome to the 1960s. You scared of <laughs> Okay. Bring it to another level here. You ready? Yeah. Welcome to the 1960s. We're grooving and moving. What are you doing? I'm connected. Huh? I'm connected. I'm just, I don't even know how to take all that. That's a lot of excitement. We bought out to someone that said, like, okay, grooving so and So whether you wear a bell bottoms or you look like you need to be on a stick of butter. Either way. <laughs> Lando Lakes, get it? The following program is a paid advertisement for Bridgeland Auto Brokers and does not represent the views or opinion of the station.